Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be just a little bit different. Um, I've had a lot of people ask about my journals that I use, that I've made. Um, you know, I do a lot of the altered composition notebooks, so I've brought just a few of them over. Um, I brought some of my other journals, and so we're just kind of going to go through some of these today. I'm very tired. Um, I just got back from Jacksonville um, last night. Um, Y'all, please pray for my friend. Um, she she has some desperate needs. Um, she has some serious financial needs right now, and I'm trying to figure out my budget, how I can help her financially. Um, she is not able to work for at least a month, and she doesn't have... Um, time to cover that. So I know I'm going Monday to see if I can donate all of my time to her, even though she's in a different department. Um, but she just, she needs our prayers more than anything. And so, um, you know, I'm just, I'm very tired, um, because I got home last night and I rested, I rented a car to go to Jacksonville and so I returned that this morning and mama, I just honestly, the truth is I can't think to design and create anything. And I have had so many questions regarding my journals. And so that's what I'm going to do today, because I think that's going to be what's the easiest for me to do um, without having to really think about things. So we're just going to dive right into it. I've got a bunch out. Um, so let me actually show you my first junk journal that I ever made and I didn't do a lot to it it was like an altered book so I used the book cover and guys this is like colored duct tape that I used for the spine and look at my stitching how it was not even um, I didn't do anything to the cover you know the edges but you know what it worked and so um, I done my name there and it has some lace on the um, edges. And so this was, um, my husband and I, we made a trip to Miami to visit his daughter. And so that's what a lot of this is. Um, I just put some stuff in here. Um, this was a portrait of me drawn by some little girls whenever I was selling the rainbow vacuum cleaners. Um, this was in September of... 2020 I guess I don't know but um, they had drawn this picture of me and so I have kept it and just stuck it in my journal yeah it had to be 2020 because they said 45 wow I didn't realize it was that long ago so I've, I've kept that um, I don't know what this was, but this was some sort of tag valid until September the 7th of 2020. And so you see, I just stuck it in there. This is just a little pocket here and a little like journal card. Miami trip to visit Kevin's daughter, September the 4th through 7th of 20. Um, I've got the information about the Amtraks that we went on, the confirmation numbers, um, the rental car, um, oh, this is when I tested positive for COVID and when I was in quarantine, uh, just a little note there, another little note regarding that. This is a little glassing envelope I put on the side there. Um, this was December 13th of 2020 with some of my grandkids. So you see, I just put all kinds of stuff in here. This is a tuck spot, but it also lifts up. Um, this they gave to, this was something they gave me down in Miami advertising. No, this was from in Okeechobee. They gave me this. It was advertising one of their little restaurants or something. And I just, I, I stuck it right in there. Um, just a little, let me see. Oh yeah. Whenever the Lord brought two amazing women, Jackie. Oh, yeah, and I'm still very good friends with them. 
Um, this was from my husband, August the 20th of 2020. He went to the kitchen to get something and he asked me if I'd wanted anything. I told him I didn't need anything. And he said he had to bring me back something. So he found a receipt and he wrote, I love you on it. And of course I had to stick it in my journal. Um, this was the rental car that we had done. So this was our itinerary, how much it cost, the confirmation number. This was stuff from the Amtrak trip. Um, this is just, um, I'm so excited to be going to Disney with all of my children and grandchildren in November. It was just, you know, a little journal card. This is a little journal card. So you see, it's just different things that I've stuck in here. Um, I think this was from Miami that they had given to us and I just stuck it in that little neat little envelope. Um, this was our Airbnb information. Um, and then this is just lace. I don't even know where I got the lace from, but I laminated it and just stuck it in there. And then this kind of flips out and I've just got some tags and stuff. I don't know if I wrote anything on this one or not. And this is a folder. I put Disney trip for family. And just got got some lace on the page there um verse of the day give us this day our daily bread and uh, verse of the day for this day was for the lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations um talking about thanksgiving and then this is actually i've got a card in here <laughs> my hubby and his six-pack abs <laughs> that's why I saved that card and so this is the envelope that the card came in that I put into the um, journal and then this lifts out and I've just got a little tag in there some more verse of the day and then this is a, another signature and so this was some of the stuff from our um, train these were some of the tags and I just stuck them in there this is just a little journal card. I don't have anything written on that one. But, so, you know, when you're doing journaling, anything can be ephemera. If it makes you, it, and you see some of this stuff brings back the memories, you know, that I might not have remembered. From my husband talking about I am his queen. And so I just use the envelope in there. And here's another one from my husband. And again, I've just used the envelope and then that way I can keep the cards. And so I'm able to just, you know, if I don't put them in the, my journal, the cards kind of, they're just, they get thrown all over the place. And so this was one of my subscribers, I think, sent this to me. And I just stuck it right in there. This is a little journal card. This is another little note that he done. He had it in my coffee cup. There's the note and there's what he had done. I took a picture of it and stuck it in my journal. Here's another one of those tags from the um, Amtrak. And then this was whenever I started losing weight and I was super excited to finally be down in a size six slim jeans. It's amazing and unreal at the same time. That was 2021. Well, now I'm like a double zero and those are too big. So I don't know. Um, and then this was just some stuff from work. You know, it made lunch two to three, family sick leave three to six, lunch one to two, lunch. These, um, I put these on my, my office whenever I would leave. Um, this is just a little journal card that I wrote on. This is some more of my, oh my goodness, because when I worked at Corrections, that was a crazy, crazy time in my life, and I'm glad to be away from there. They were very, um, I don't know, like this day, um, I don't know, I, I, it, it's just, it's ephemera, you know, it's different memories, so you can see the different, you know, things there. And this stuff is trying to stick. That was just a little journal card. 
Um, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Oh, this was at the, um, my husband was working as the executive chef at the um, Killarne Country Club at the time. And so this was one of the dinners that I had went to. And I've got it attached to the page with a hidden paper clip. This was from Houston's down in Miami where my husband took me to dinner one night. So you see there's all sorts of stuff that is um, ephemera. This was when my papa died. So this was his obituary. And, you know, I don't know if you guys are the same way, but if I don't have it and stuff like this, I, you know, I'll, I'll lose it. Um, this was from the train. They stuck this above our seat so that they knew that we were getting off in Miami. Some more pieces of ephemera, another verse of the day, and then another um, signature. Um, this was when we went to Disney with the family, so that's what we've done. This is just um, a vellum envelope. And I just really like that. It was the colors of that. It was out of an old book. And so that's why it is in the vellum envelope to kind of protect it. Got some old book page, some coffee dyed paper. Another card from my husband that I've just got tucked in there. Some more. This is out of a magazine. Um, when my son and daughter-in-law got married. And this is just a cute little book that kind of opens all different ways, you know, and it's just, I just stuck it in there. Um, this is a journal card. So this was um, when we were headed back home and we were headed to Jacksonville. Thank you from Rainbow. This is when I bought my um, Rainbow vacuum. This was before I was selling Rainbow vacuums. And this is my husband's, um, or one, you know, one was from on my husband's seat and one was on my seat. Another verse of the day. This is just a little bag. Another card from my husband. New grandbaby. Tyson J is due to arrive in May of 2021. Um, and how they told me that was when I got to Orlando to go um, for the family vacation I went in and they had a, a cake and they said the cake they said come in and eat some cake it's you know we're doing it for the um, vacation and it said welcome to the family Toss and Jay and it took me a few minutes before it dawned on me what it was um, this is a coaster from that Houston's restaurant where we went to eat I think it was yeah I think it, that one was from Houston. I don't remember. Another one of a card from my husband. Just some more little bits and pieces. Another one of those um, coasters. Another verse of the day. Just a little envelope. I don't know if I have anything. No, I don't have anything in it. Um, this is from a co-worker. She had wrote me a note. This brings back memories right here. This is from my granny. And my granny is still alive. But y'all, for years and years and years and years and years, my granny never missed a birthday. She never missed an anniversary. She never... We always got cards from my granny. Everybody in our church got cards from our granny. But my granny don't do cards anymore. I'm sorry. I am going to tear up. That is not good. Anyway, Granny's still alive. But you don't know how much you're going to miss something like this until you no longer get it. And so I'm very thankful that I put this one in my journal. Because I can't tell you how many through the years that I probably just discarded because I knew I was going to get one the next year. Until I didn't. So just another verse of the day. 2020, the year of toilet paper shortage. Um, so it's just different things, you know, that um, this was from, this was actually made from one of the menus at um, one of the places that we went to eat. And then I think this is, this is the New Yorker patio bar. So I even put receipts in here. See there? Um, this was made from the menu. Oh, Tap 42 is where that um, coaster was from. 
And so see, I've got that in there. That's another one from my papa when he passed away. What is this? Okay, this was from one of our um, Airbnbs that we were staying at. It was the mid mid block Miami condominium. So this is, uh, you know, and I'm kind of taking my time through this one because this one, uh, it's bringing back a lot of memories that, um, you know, like with my granny. Um, just some more different little notes, some more bursts of the day. And this, what is this? Oh, this was when um, we had, we were tested for the um, COVID. And so I just thought it was something to save. And I'm glad that I did because like I said, these are memories that I might not, I might not remember a lot of this stuff. Oh, I actually needed this. See, this is perfect. My TMJ has been giving me a fit and I've been wearing my, um, my retainer, but my um, TMJ has been very bad and I couldn't remember who the dentist was. So there we go. Perfect. See, guys, y'all are amazing because if I hadn't have done this for you, you guys, then I wouldn't have had that. Um, this was a, our um, receipt from Houston. So another one of the napkins from Houston. Uh, just some more little pieces of ephemera. Some more verse of the day. I laminated this. It was our Hertz rental car thing, but you know how the heat does with that thermal paper, but I can still see it, so I'm, I'm cool with it. And then another one of the cards from my husband, and then this is just a, let me see, this thing just kind of flips down all different ways. So yeah, that is my first junk journal, guys. I mean, you know, and it's nothing spectacular, but... Um, it's got a lot of memories in it. Um, and now I don't know what was the next one. I don't have a clue. Um, this one is actually my idea journal. Um, and I've not been using it lately. I need to make another one. So anytime I would make something different, I would stick it into my idea journal so that I would remember. Um, and then you see this says idea from Edith scrapbooking with me, March of 2021. And so I would try to um, put where I got the idea from um, so that I could remember how to make it. And some of these, like I said, some of this stuff I've just kind of, was things that I've just kind of done. So there was no need to put anybody's name on it. Um, okay, this was an idea from Yvonne Preston, September 1st of 2019. And then let's see, some of these are just really good that, you know, I would not remember what I had, how to do some of this or that I even done this kind of stuff if I didn't have the idea journal. Some of these I'm looking at, I'm like, why am I not still doing this kind of stuff? Yeah, I need to be, I need to do more of this. So that's why it's good to have an idea journal so that, because, you know, when we're doing this kind of stuff, you know, we'll, we'll get into the rut, a rut and do the same thing over and over. And then when we do something different, we forget about what we used to do. And I mean, some of this stuff is pretty cool, you know? So, um, that's the purpose of an idea journal. Um, this is a page idea from Kate Mauer. And so you see the page there. And so that way, um, if I recreated any of it, I would know, number one, I would know who to credit. And then also, if I needed to remember what to do, I would know exactly where to go to. Now, this was given to me um, from Leslie Kershaw. She was in England. And this was just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I love this. And she sent me a happy mail package at a time that I, I can't tell you guys what that happy mail package done for me. Um, I was going through some things and she sent me the most beautiful. I, I know I cried when I went through the happy mail. I know I did. 
Um, this is another page, but I apparently have something behind it. Yep, I have a sewn tag. And this is just a page there. This was another Kate Maurer idea. So I think I just took the idea from the big page and just um, reduced it slightly and made a smaller little thing out of it. Ah, some of the stuff has stuck. So this one was an idea from Junie Desiree. <laughs> um, this was meant to be my idea journal, but it is just too beautiful to be used only um, as an idea journal. So I started, I did start writing in it. And then here's some more stuff. Idea from Pam at the Paper Outpost. And then look at this. This is cute. A little tiny book. Wow, I forgot about that. And this was... This was like a seed packet envelope, and I put a journal card in it. This is um, an idea from Gail Gostinelli, and so it was using a 12 by 12 piece of paper to make this. Um, let's see. Okay, so that's an envelope. And uh, this was Roxy's creation. This is just a little envelope. This is another idea from Edith, my ma. And this is just all kinds of different papers in here. This is gift wrap, notebook paper, graph paper, you know, elementary type paper. I just put all kinds of stuff in here. I think that's it pretty much. Uh, do I have anything on this? No. And then this is something from Gail Agostinelli. I don't know where it is, but it, I've got the instructions on it still, so I'll have to read the instructions. But that is one of my idea journals. Um, so let's see, what else can we go to? This one is one I started making and I've not really done anything in it. Um, it's made out of packaging. And so I've just got all kinds of like um, different papers in here. A lot of this paper was like just my trash paper, I guess you could say. And because I made this out of, a, um, you know, packaging, I kind of wanted to go with just stuff that was about to be thrown away. And so I have not done anything in this one. So I need to start using this one. And then... We've got this one here, and I don't know that I've actually done, and a lot of times I'll make my journals, and I like to just look at them sitting on my shelf, and I'm being totally honest with you guys. I, If I never write in them, I'm okay with it. I just like to look at them, and so that's pretty much what this one is. So this one's got like the um, Lochte paper. It's got... Um, it's got a uh, coffee dyed washi paper, coffee dyed vellum paper. Um, I've got ink dyed paper in here. And um, I've just got all kinds of different stuff in here. And I don't do anything in this journal. I just like to look at it. It is so pleasing to me. Um, this is cute. This is just a bunch of scraps that I stapled together and made like a little notebook. I love to just look at this. And then this was a um, tag I made using vellum. And then I made a vellum envelope like that. That was pretty cool. There's a little, you could use that as a um, pocket if you wanted to. This is an envelope. The other side is in here. And so I just used the flap to make a, um, a little pocket. This is a hidden paper clip. This is that envelope that you could see the um, flap to. So I've got vintage paper. This is, um, oh my goodness, glassine paper. And then this is just a little ribbon um, bookmark. Vellum paper. Look at that. Oh, I love all of this. So you can see, like I said, I this is um, 
glassine paper that I coffee dyed. This is a little glassine bag that I've embellished. And yeah, there's that. And so I just, you know, like I said, I just like looking at it. Um, I did make a few like this, where these are like little, um, it's like the mini, the altered mini composition notebooks. And then I laminated the cover. And so I made it like a traveler's notebook. I have this. We made this one on camera. And again, this is one that I just enjoy looking at. It's just very different. There's pockets in the top or the sides of the pages. I've got little folders in there. Like this one has a pocket at the top. We've got folders. And then in the folders, uh, some of them have stuff in them. Um, I haven't done anything to this. I just, I love to just look at it. To me, just seeing it setting there like that, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, I love it. Uh, here's another one like that. I think this was my prototype that I had made, if I'm not mistaken, um, before we made that one on camera. And so, again, I just, it's just something that I enjoy. Um, and you don't have to write in your journals if you don't want to. Um, this was one of my envelope journals. This one is William Morris stuff. This is all William Morris, I believe. <clears throat> Excuse me, my mother-in-law, um, she loved William Morris. And so this was one that I had actually made to give to her, and she passed away. And so I, I've just kept it. I've not done anything to it. I've got like the journal cards. I've not done a single thing to it. I am, I won't, um, I'll just keep it. Um, like I have some, these are like, there's some journal cards. Those are like cards and it's just the William Morris designs. I didn't even know who William Morris was before I met my husband. So you can see I've got the pockets back here. This one's got tucks. This one's got a tuck from the top and then it's got a tuck in the back. And then it just closes around. Oh, no, no, no. This one does not close like that. I am so sorry. I thought I was about to mess it up. It closes like that. And then we have this one here. I think this is another one that I don't really do anything in. This one was made with one of my paper collections. Oh, this was when my sweet grandson, Tyson Jay, made his entrance into the world. Weighing in at 7 pounds, 15 ounces, arrival time was 8.20. Maybe a happy memo once again. So, yeah, see, I guess I did write something. 11.28 of 21, it is so hard to leave my grandbabies after visiting with them a few days. Yeah, that's true. And there's just some more journaling. So, I did journal in this one a little bit. And I'll bounce around from journal to journal because you see this was kind of at the same time. My nanny's birthday, my granny's birthday, Tyson's birthday. Coffee dyed um, tracing paper. Some ledger paper. Coffee dyed paper. And I made an envelope out of one of the pages. That's a glassine bag. Um, this was when he was born, November of 2021. Oh my God. Oh, duh. Ansley. Um, my son's um, oldest daughter. That was when I took food up there to them. So you see, anything can be ephemeral. You see that stuff, that stuff that you would have just normally thrown away. But you see how it's bringing back memories when I'm looking through this stuff. Uh, it brings back memories for sure that, like I said, I probably would have forgotten about a lot of this stuff if I had not stuck it into a journal. Look at this pocket here. This is a, um, a CD sleeve. Look how cute that is. We're going to have to do some of those. And then this is a belly band, and there's that. Uh, let's see. 
This one is one I started and I have never finished it. I need to finish it. It's an altered. Um, no, I did finish it. I forgot. I did finish it. I finished it on camera with you guys. So it is a Reader's Digest that I've done the cinch binding on. And I love this. So cute. I have not done anything in it, which I need to. I really need to probably journal in it some. But I love this right here. So there's that one. Um, this one is one that I started working. Um, um, it's like a, a traveler's notebook. And I, I made the insert. And I only put one insert in it. But I never like finished the book. So it just kind of sits there, which is a shame. This is one that I've done as a ring bound journal. And I've just done a couple of things in it, and that's it. Okay, so I've only really done one thing in it. So I probably should work on that. This is another one of those little journals. This one, I think, was the prototype before I'd done the other two. Yep. So you see there's not a lot to that one. This one here was my scuba diving journal, and so I made the well, spine dangle. Um, I don't have a whole lot in here, I don't think, but I do have some. Ah, so I've got whoops, that's my armband from one of the dives. Vortex Springs, that's where we went diving at. So I do have some stuff in here. That's my packing list. So this was my um scuba diving journal where's my you know what i left my um my cruise journal in there i think it's on my desk i wanted to show that to you guys i've got a lot of stuff to still put in that so i might not show that one to y'all just yet so there's that one um i have this one that i had done this one's like a traveler's notebook and it has the traveler's notebook insert in it i've not done anything to it i can put more inserts in it but i haven't i've not done anything to it and let me just show you a couple of these so this one is one of my altered composition notebooks and i've just got some stickers there i don't think i've done anything in this one i think this one's right ready for me to use whenever i need to use it and so i like to have several just setting there ready for me to use because I use these all the time. This is one that I've done the um, the washi tape on the edge. And so you can see I use this one a lot as um, a church journal. And so I've got the scriptures and, you know, all that kind of stuff in there. And done some bills in it too. This one here says church notes. And I have some tabs on this one. And see, this is one because my Uncle Donnie has passed away so that I can go back and see, you know, what he was preaching. This is some of the different songs. Um, I've got some stuff all throughout in here. My Aunt Helen. So there's that one. This one I used mainly for work. <laughs> Which is why you see all of these statutes in it, because I would just like jot the statutes down that I had to look up. And yeah, so, you know, it, it makes it better, you know, it's better when you can use a cute journal to do work in. So this one, I've done the page tabs at the top. Um, I actually glued some calendar type stuff in it. And I made this like a monthly budget, bill payment tracker, holiday planning. There's that one. This one here. Have I done anything? No, I think this one, I haven't even finished embellishing this one. So this one's kind of ready for me to go. This one, I have done the um, tape along the edge of the pages, but I have not embellished this one. I've not um, covered it or anything. So I need to do that. We might do that one day this week. And um, then there's this one. I don't remember what I've done. Oh, another one I use for work. Yeah. 
So this one was another work notebook, and I love the colors in this one. It's just so bright. And then there's this one. Again, I have no idea. I don't think I've... Yeah, this one is like a, I've been doing um, studying, studying my Bible in. So I've got just some different things in that. So... Yeah, guys, that's just some of my notebooks that are journals that I'm using right now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought. If there's any of these that you'd like to see me um, recreate or do some different stuff, to, let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Let me see if I can do it. There we go. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh, I do have one other thing I forgot. I have created another channel. It's Betty's Budget and Finance so that I can keep this channel mainly strictly for my journal, junk journal, Photoshop, um, tutorials, that kind of stuff. And then my budget stuff, I'm going to move over to my new channel, Betty's Budget and Finance. I will try to link it below. Please, 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 please go over and join and watch the videos. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.